Welcome to our lesson about creating a library feature. I'm going to start by creating a sketch on the top plane. Activate the Rectangle tool. I don't need to apply dimensions. I'm just simply going to exit my sketch. Even though we're going to use this feature in a sheet metal part, to create this feature, I'm going to use a regular extrude and a regular extruded cut. Let's go to the Features tab, activate the Extruded Boss Base command. One millimeter's good, and OK. And let's create a new sketch on this face for our cut. Right-click, New Sketch. I'll create a slot about here. Let's apply dimensions. We'll make the shorter side 10 millimeters. OK. By 45 millimeters. OK. Let's exit our sketch. Activate the Extruded Cut tool. I'm going to use a 1 millimeter blind extrusion for this example. Let's click OK. Now let's open the library. Pin it down. Open the Design Library, Features, Metric, Slots. I'm going to grab Cut Extrude 1 from the Feature Manager tree and drag it inside this folder. Let's name it, we'll call it Slot 01. And click OK. Now we've got our new library feature named Slot 01. Let's create another document, a SolidWorks part document. Right click on the top plane and insert a sketch. I'm going to drop a rectangle about here. Exit the sketch. Go to the Sheet Metal tab and activate the Base Flange Tab tool. Accept the default parameters. Now I'm going to grab slot 1 and drop it somewhere here. Under the Location section, we've got an Edit Sketch button. That's where we're going to define the position of our slot. Let's dimension this position at 15 millimeters, OK. And 20 millimeters here, OK. Let's click the back button. Let's click OK. And once again, if we need to edit the feature, we just right click, select Edit Feature. Or we can edit the feature or sketch directly. And exit the sketch. Now let's create a new part. OK. I'm going to create another library feature. Let's right click and insert a sketch on the top plane. Activate the Rectangle tool. Drop it about here, no dimensions, exit the sketch. Go to the Features tab, activate the Extruded Boss Base command. One millimeter blind extrusion is fine, and OK. Now let's right click on this face and create a new sketch. We're going to create a second slot. Let's apply dimensions. Make it 15 this way. OK. By 45 the long way. OK. And let's position it. 20 millimeters. OK. And 40 millimeters here. Notice that when I apply a position dimension, first I dimension against this edge and then this edge secondly. Let's exit the sketch. Activate the Extruded Cut tool. OK. And let's drag our new Cut Extrude from the Feature Manager tree to the library. I'm going to call it Slot 02. Let's return to our sheet metal part now. I'm going to suppress Slot 1. Right click, Suppress. Now I'm going to grab slot 02 and drop it onto my flange. Now since we dimensioned the location of our slot, SolidWorks asks us to specify reference edges. Let's choose our first edge and the second edge. Under the Size Dimensions section, we've got access to all of our dimensions. Here's the slot size. There's the location dimensions. And here's the depth. Let's click OK to accept. And let's suppress this feature again. Now I'm going to drag slot 02 onto the graphic area. 
This time I'm going to select the reference edges in the wrong order. And let's take a look at the tree. Notice we've got warning symbols right next to our features. When I mouse over those symbols, I get an explanation of what's wrong and some suggestions. A solution can't be determined. Consider moving the sketch, adding more dimensions. Let's click OK, and let's go and edit our sketch. Basically here, I'm going to need to delete the position dimension. Or we can double click the warning symbol. This will open the sketch expert. Let's click Diagnose. The results indicate that there are six possible solutions. Let's check out the first solution. Aha, the first one is to delete the position dimension. Let's accept it and then click OK. Now let's apply a new position dimension. Accept the default values and exit the sketch. You'll need to keep this nuance in mind when you're using position dimensions for your library features. And this concludes our lesson about creating a new library feature.